Hey folks, Pose here, welcome back to another Poem Master video, and today we're going to go over some more um, concept entries, right? And I think it's, what, episode 9, so yeah. Uh, if you guys do want to enter yourselves, you could obviously, you know, join the Discord in the description box down below, and then throw in your entries in there in the specific channel, and then um, have fun. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. Starting from the first one, we've got Nobunaga and Shiny Rayquaza uh, by, I think it's Meta, right? Yep, Meta. So let's oh you know what, let me uh make larger over here. You know what this barely no it's the same size what the heck anyways I guess this, it is the original then. Um but yeah uh for this unit it's dragon type striker weak weak to ice um five star and as for its stash, 560 HP 257 attack 145 defense. Uh, 379 special attack, 145 um, special defense, 292 speed. Uh, so solid special attack. Um, average HP, I guess, for a striker. And okay ish defenses for a striker, right? As for its moves, got Twister, 2 bar, small chance of uh, flinching uh, the opponent, um, 45 power, 100 accuracy, AoE. Okay, AoE Twister, it's fine. Um, Mercy is for the weak. I think that's their trainer move, right? Mo uh, all right, let's let's go over. The oh, that's a lot. If the user's stats have been raised, the amount of increases triple. The user's takes damage equal to seventy five percent of its remaining HP. So it takes seventy five percent recoil and triples any stats that it uh, already has raised. So um, this will work v very well with um something like a uh, Lyra, right? Uh, dire hit gives you plus one crit. And then sign side up under sun would give you plus two. I think your speed and special attack and attack, right? And then you just use mercies for the week, and boom, you're up to like plus three crit and plus six attack, special attack, and speed, right? Um, so that's really nice. Um, obviously the recoil is not that great, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is, right? Um, moving on. Uh, so it has ancient power, which is ancient power. And then Dragon Pulse, which is a, a three bar, hundred power, hundred accuracy, single target, no additional effect. Uh, special Dragon move, and Sync move, Warlord Draco meter, two hundred power. Uh, targets, it's a single target. Um, obviously, I don't even know why I'm reading that. <laughs> they all are. The more the user stats are raised, the greater the power of this move. Okay, okay, damn, that's 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 a that's a really powerful Sync move. Um, anyways, going over its passive aggravation one, increases chance of flinch with twister, which is it's an AoE flinch. Like honestly, like it, even if you're not running this unit as a striker, running it as like an AoE flinch, <laughs> you, you you know, unit's still really really good, right? Foul fighting, uh, foul fighting one, so extra ten percent if you're, the target is flinched, right? And then swag bag one on on ancient power. Um, overall, pretty interesting striker that you could also turn into some kind of like AoE flinching, um, you know. Units kind of it's sort of like Steven, right? Um, yeah, it is a bit harder to sustain <laughs> with the uh, you know seventy five recoil. Obviously, you don't have to use it, but uh, you know it's 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 pretty nice standard uh, dragon. It's like nowadays it's it's kind of hard to like create concepts for um, dragon type units that aren't like Draco just Draco meteor and outrage because like we already have Draco meteor and outrage units and and you know I have to find something else. I think Dragon Pulse is basically the one that folks kind of go to uh, that are Dragon Rush, that aren't you know um, extremely overused in the game already, right? Uh, like uh, Outrage and Dragon Meteor. So there we go, there we go. All right. And then the next one we got uh, uh, Luzmin and Lopini by uh, Revo. Revo I, I can't actually pronounce the name. Um, it's not like this. It's like other symbols. I don't I don't know something like that. But anyways, let me know how to pronounce your name. Um, Luzmin and Lopini. Five star support, normal weak to fighting stats, five, uh, 550 HP, uh, 195 attack, uh, 235 defense, 120 special attack, 270 special defense, 300 speed. So good speed, good defenses, uh, mediocre HP for support, right? Um, so on to its moves. So it has facade, um, powers double in the user's you know, status or whatever, right? X regen all. So obviously that's extra, yeah. X region all. I don't know what else to say. Mega Punch. Um, damn. Oh, oh, it's a two bar move. I was like, damn, this Mega Punch sucks. <laughs> it's like 85% accuracy, only 80 power. But then I saw, oh, okay, it's a two bar move. This makes sense. Uh, never mind. No, not that it matters. Yeah. I don't think Lopunny's really going to use that <laughs> at all. It's over facade, right? Um, 
And then the trainer move, beauty never goes away. It's uh, one ally, two MP, um, and then drastically raises the highest stat of the selected sync pair and lowers the same stat of the user by one stage. So that's pretty interesting, right? Um, so, you know, generally you're probably going to use this on a striker for the most part. And, you know, if it's a special striker, it's going to raise special attack by three stages. If it's physical, you're going to raise, you know, it's physical attack by three stages, which is really nice. And then, you know, you get two of those. And then you lower your own stat of that uh, by one stage. And then if you use it twice, two stages, right? And since, you know, um, you are a support, you don't really need to do damage or whatever, the, the drawback isn't really a big deal. So that's definitely nice. Um, sync move. Um, it's a normal type sync move, so BP 300 is fine. Uh, Beauty Defining Mega Punch, no additional effect, so there's that. As far as passives, it has Agile Entry. Um, sharply raises users' evasiveness when the Pokemon enters the battle. First aid 4 restores a bit of the Pokemon's HP uh, during a battle when the Pokemon is in a pinch, right? So, um, really interesting concept. I really like the trainer move. You know, you don't never seen anything like that before, so that's really nice. Plus X regen all. Um, it's a solid support, right? Definitely. Uh, probably, um, if it had a grid, you know, with MP or Fresh on Facade or whatever, it would be probably better than Glalie, right? Um, Glalie does give special attack, but, uh, yeah, this is plus three, which you could use twice, which is plus six, right? So, there's that. Anyways, um, moving on, moving on to the next one. Uh, we got Malva and Talonflame by Gamba Just Gamba. And this one stats, uh, wow, that's a lot of HP, 715 HP, 355 attack, 170, wow, that's a lot of defenses too. Dude, honestly, you could straight up run this like as a tank, um, <laughs> it would be fine, like a lot of HP with really high defenses. Um, special attack, 165, special defense, 178 as well, speed, oh, that's a lot of speed as well, 458. As for its set, let me just enlarge this so it's easier to see. You know what? Let's let me do this. Um, I forgot I could have done this for uh, no one on, uh, as well. Um, anyways, um, as for its moves, got flare blitz recoil, which makes sense. I mean the the high HP, right? Um, uh, recoil and flare blitz, and then you got aerial ace and brave bird, which is also another that's another recoil, right? And then news flash, which is which is its trainer move, uh, speed by one and evasion by two stages and then sync move uh dive bomb flare which in which recovers its health uh by 10 percent for each speed increase so that's really really nice so if you get like um is this basically a you know recuperation but like on steroids if you have plus six speed because that's like six percent of your health that you recover on your sync move so even though on the passives it doesn't have um stand fast you know, with the recovery on the sync move, if you play it smartly, right, um, you could still uh, be relatively healthy um, with that, right? It, like, if you're really just, like, out of, like, stuff, you could, I guess you could just, like, go ahead and aerial ace. Um, as for its passive skill, Wings, very, very powerful um, passive skill, right? All flying type attacks are uh, become first in queue when above 50% health, so you could kind of sort of manipulate, um, you know your, your sync move countdown and that way if you use it three times that's like basically like a turn just sh sh you know shaved off of your sync move countdown right um gale wings again it, it just i i i, I kind of like you know um this concept if talent flame ever comes to this game i hope they implement something similar right uh, for talent flame um so yeah very very powerful obviously the flame body my chance to burn an opponent uh, when hit by a physical attack, so it got both its, you know, <laughs> ability and, and HA on, on this sync pair, right? Inertia, higher speed, more powers up sync move. So this thing is going to be very, I, I really like this concept as a striker, because, like, usually it's kind of hard. Honestly, I, I do think it's kind of harder to, like, make concepts for strikers and techs and supports, or, I mean, unique concept, because, you know, a lot of strikers are kind of the same. Um, you know, do a lot of damage, get some okay or self buffs, right? Uh, but this is a very unique uh, concept for Striker, so I, so I really do like this one a lot. Um, so yeah, that's Malva and Talonflame by by uh, Gamba Just Gamba. So moving on to the next one, we have um, Swimsu Winona and Sky Shaman by Deco, and the art is by Derisudo01 on Twitter, right? And yeah, that's a really good art. <laughs> I like that. Um, I like Winona. I think she's underrated as, as a gym leader, really. I, I really do like Winona a lot. 
Um, and her shiny soul in the uh, anime, which is pretty poggers. Um, all right. Uh, let's uh, go over the set over here. And let me not make it Omega big, <laughs> since we could actually... Uh... All right, there we go. Um, let's see, it's a five-star tech unit. Uh, flying type, weak to fire. Um, 590 HP. Uh, 590 HP, 130 attack, 107 defense. Uh, 260... I not a fan of this layout in terms of stats. Uh, 260 speed, um, 368 special attack, 113 special defense. Um, so overall, defense are kind of eh. HP is okay. Um, the, uh, the the speed is... Eh. Like, it's just overall, like, the stats aren't that great. It has, like, good special attack, though, even though it's attack. Uh, on its moves, air slash martyr chance of flinching. Leech seed, seize plan on foe, steals 1 16th of HP from the foe to heal the user on every turn for 5 turns. Seal 1 8th if the move is super effective. So basically, a 9% accuracy, uh, 3 bars, 1 use. So basically what Leech Seed does is, in terms of, because of how this game works, right? Um, the opponent has like around like 10,000 HP or more, right? So like 1 16th of 10,000 HP, right, um, is, is, is a lot. So like you basically... Basically, what you um, like, uh, you know what? L let me see. Ten thousand sixteenth. That's like around like you know. Again, they usually do have like over ten thousand. But like, if it is like ten thousand, it's like six hundred or whatever HP that you get back from the HC. So basically, every time you steal HP from your opponent, you heal back up to max for Shaman for Sky Shaman. However, there is dropping. It's not like. It's not like, oh, oh wow, Shaman is a killable, you know, right? Um, Shaman is overpowered. Uh, it's, it's actually not, because if you actually look at the stats, and that's why the stats kind of suck defensively, um, if you get one shot, you're gone, right? Um, which is relatively possible because, again, of the very bad defensive stats. Uh, it's relatively possible to get one shot. Usually, after the opponent uses that one sync move, gets that buff off, if someone, something hits you and lands a crit, like, you're just gone, right? You get one shot. But if you don't get one shot, um, if opponents aren't doing enough damage, you could just keep healing, keep healing, and, and basically stay alive forever. So, very, very powerful. It uh, could be slightly on the overpowered side, but it's not, like, uh, you know, insanely overpowered that it's unkillable or whatever. It is actually relatively killable, right, still. Um, so, that's pretty cool. X actually plus <laughs> drastically raises the user's accuracy. Um, what for? I don't know. Leech C is 90 accuracy. Air Slash is 95. I, I don't know why it's drastically, though. Anyways. Um, Graceful wins. Sharply lowers uses... Oh, there we go. Sharply lowers uses accuracy. Radically raises user's special attack. Uh, restores 1 MP for all other moves. So you could refresh Leech, leech Seed on different stages and whatnot, right? Or, or you know, if you're... Um, doing uh, uh like another um i guess battleville stage that's like three there's nine opponents then you know once the first uh unit goes down you could you know go ahead and, and steal hp from the next one right um, or you could just set it to like one of the, like the mids and then like you just clear sides and then you just keep the mid alive or or the opposite right you're just killing the mids and then like keep one of the sides alive so you just keep on sapping leech seed from them um yeah so there's that and also again um there aren't uh that many moves that do this so far there's like i guess kukui's train move that restores mp for uh accelera right but it would be nice to see you know more um more more units do this on, on their uh, moves to restore mp which is pretty nice anyways passes flabbergast three um i think that's what 40 percent chance to confuse opponent right on your move Aggravation 1, higher chance to flinch. So you have a confusion flinch going on here uh, with Shaman as well. And then Sync Moves, Wind Waker, Hurricane, um, 200 power, special, flying. Um, I don't think it does anything right. Yeah, I guess it doesn't do anything. Um, so yeah, that's 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 this one by uh, Deco. So moving on to the, I guess, w winner, if you want to call it that, <laughs> this week. Uh, not None of these are, like, really ordered. It's just, um, I'm just picking, like, one person so I could give, like, a special um, rule to on Discord, uh, I guess. Um, it's this one. Uh, Diathan Gardevoir by Atharva. I, I think this is a really interesting concept, right? Um, 
And 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 here's here's how they do it, right? Die at the Gardevoir, weak to steel, five star special striker, uh the okay ish HP, uh whatever attack, um, bad defenses, uh good special attack. And uh, decent speed. And as for its moves, I'll get God Dazzling Gleam, 2 bar AoE, 55 power, 100 accuracy, X special attack, Moon Blast, 30% um, chance to lower opponent special attack, 99 power, same stuff. Gracefully done. This is a train move, which I find very, very interesting. Users take 60% of its current HP as recoil and gives plus 3 crit and plus 3 speed. Um, this is obviously plus three crit plus three speed is very very powerful in terms of a buff, um, but it does have a huge drawback in sixty percent of your HP. However, uh, there is a way to remedy that, which I find really fascinating. And I really do think if they do want to do like this, this like, all these like huge recoil moves in the future, they should always implement some way of healing the HP back. Um, it's like right with the Sharpedo Sink or Swim, like almost you would almost never use it. Obviously there. are certain rare circumstances where you could use them make it very very powerful but generally you don't want to use it right um but in its passes for um mega cardivore you do have um critical healing which stores 10 percent hp every time you use your crit so after you do that you get a hundred percent chance of crit um obviously if you're facing a stage with a crit shield then you're kind of screwed um <laughs> but you know as long as they don't have crit shield you'll crit all the time and then every hit gives you like 10% back. So every sync move cycle, you get 30% HP back. So after like two cycles, you'll basically heal all that lost HP back um, from critical healing, right? Which is really, really cool. Um, MP refresh three, uh, it's just standard MP refresh on, on all your moves, all that stuff. Um, sync charge up, I mean, I say it's really standard, but it's actually pretty powerful. <laughs> um, sync charge up, raises attack, special attack and speed after using sync move. So after what? three actually uh, yeah after like three sync moves you'll have max special attack and max speed as well right because you get what plus three from your trainer move and then plus four from x special attack and after mega you increase your special attack 440 special attack 144 special defense and 161 speed x attack becomes psychic so i thought that was a really really interesting concept for a striker right um for you know units that do do recoil and you know the other um concept also kind of did this as well right with um uh, with with Talon Flame, uh, except this is on sync move, and then um, for 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 Gardevoir, this is on every each crit, right? So I do like these two concepts a lot. Um, if they again do do do, <laughs> if they do recoil, um, you know, huge recoil in the future, I, I really think that they should also uh, give us some kind of like remedy uh, on that with um, with 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 some kind of like healing um, gesture, right? So, anyways. Uh, again, congratulations to everyone who made it. Uh, I will be making another one soon. There's a lot of concept from the last one, so I'll, I'll put, put out some more um, in the next episode as well. So, anyways, again, uh, that's me with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, everyone, for um, entering the the concepts. Um, a lot of great ones. Again, there's so many that I can't even put into one video. So, look for the next one. Anyways, again, I'll see you guys uh, in the next one.